habit of this, aren't you? What? You were spying on me last night as well, just over there behind that bush. I wasn't spying. Oh, what were you doing then? Just having a look. Are you Lynn's boyfriend? Oh, what business is of that of yours? I'm her sister. Well, Lynn's sister. Lynn and me are just good friends, all right? She thinks you're her boyfriend. Really? I'm sure she wouldn't be pleased to hear you say that. She'd hear what she says about you. Oh, what does she say? She says you're a real good... Now, wait a minute. Uh, Katrina. Katrina, I'm trying to make myself respectable here, so... If you don't mind, some other time, eh? If Lynn isn't your girlfriend, who is? Look, I don't discuss my personal life with young girls, all right? Don't you have a girlfriend? For your information, no. Now, would you please leave me in peace? Or do you want me to tell your mother you spend your time spying on strange men? Where's Duncan? You told him to fix the fencing up at the old Clark place. He should have finished that by now. Oh, come on. There's miles of it to repair. When you see him, tell him there's a lot of undergrowth and he's cutting back at the far end of the south pasture. You're being too hard on him. He's the one that went swanning off on a fishing trip without so much as a buy your leave. You can't expect me to be Mr. Nice Guy when he decides to come back. Well, if you don't watch out, you'll end up scaring him off. If he can't take straight talk, and he shouldn't be working for me. You've got to admit he's a good worker. Well, he hasn't proved it yet. Well, at least he's cheap. Well, you get out of my hair and do what you're told. Look, Davy, don't take out on me. I know Sam's done the dirty on you. You know nothing of the sort. She's left you. You can't admit it. And you're going on as if it's our fault. I'm trying to get this estate up and running. And that's not easy. With an absentee landlord, or should I say landlady, a bone idle handyman, and a nagging fishwife for an assistant. Okay, Davy, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that about Sam. No, you shouldn't have. But if it makes you feel any better, Miss Hagen's not going to put one over on me. Where are you going? Sam's house. Oh, Davy, don't run after her. I don't run after women. I have some papers here. I need a signature on them. She has been answering my calls. All right? No, Tom, I don't have the time. I said I'd try to go. I didn't give any guarantees. All right. Me too. Bye. Hello. I wasn't expecting to see you here today. I thought you were working from home. Yes, well, I just thought I should put in an appearance. Well, I'm glad you're here because these figures I don't Not understand. Not now, Sheila, if you don't mind. Oh, I'm sorry. Something wrong? I've just got a bit of a headache, that's all. Um, has Greg been in this morning? I don't think he's up out his bed yet. Oh? Well, Fiona was saying they had a, a dinner party for the Ross Giffords last night. They stayed here after the fire. Yes, I know. Mm -hmm. Apparently it was a three o'clock in the morning do. Was it indeed? Sheila, if anyone wants me, I'll be in Greg's office, all right? Why didn't you leave with the others? Because in my spare time, I'm a DJ. Brilliant. I've promised the minister's wife I'll do a disco in the village hall for the under-18ers. Would you be interested? You're right, I would. Do you get a chance to dance once you put the records on? No, definitely not. What are you doing here? I was feeling stuffy in the house. Mm, a likely story. This one's off the school, Mr Stapleton. Not feeling well. If you're well enough to be standing here, you're well enough to be sitting in a classroom. Come on, up the road. Nick's invited me to a disco in the village hall. Nick? Ignore her. She's got a fevered imagination. He has! Actually, Mrs McNeil, I, I have. If I could explain, you see this... You! Home! I don't want to be rude, Mr Stapleton, but Katrina's still a child. And if you're going to camp here, I'd rather you didn't encourage her to hang around. And I certainly don't want you inviting her to discos. Come on. Come on. Oh, how long has it been 
to get all this back to normal. Well, it's mainly smoke damage in here. Uh, should get back together by tomorrow for work our guts out today. I'm afraid the public bar's going to take a bit longer. Mm. Well, I still feel sick when I think of what happened in here, and, and we Lucy sleeping just upstairs. Mm. Well, not just upstairs, actually. Up two stairs and a bit to the right. I rake. You know what I mean. Joe, I think you should take up Fiona's offer and stay at the big house till we're finished here. Uh, I don't know. Half of me thinks that's a good idea, and the other half just wants to be right on the spot here. Which half's going to win? Coming back here, I think. Oh. Actually, I'm really not happy about staying at the big house. Why not? Well, things just... they just aren't right there. Oh, Joe, what are you suggesting now? Well, did you not notice last night? A strain between Fiona and Greg. Hmm. Anyway, um, do you want a hand to get the chairs out of the yard? No, 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 I'll manage here. Uh, Jane and Vicky can get the tables polished when the, all the washing down is done. Right. Oh, it's just a mess. No, Joe, once those industrial cleaners get the chairs done, you'll not know a thing's happened. Uh, Ah, don't go in there. It's much worse. You'll just throw a wobbly. Yeah. Go on, get back to my daughter at the big house. I'm going, I'm going. Now, this mm. is for you, and this is for Lucy. Now, on you go before this place gives you a nervous breakdown. See ya. Sorry to bother you, Fiona. I've been waiting for Greg. Oh, he's taken David to school. He's a bit behind schedule, I'm afraid. We'd rather a late night. Yes, I had. Well, he should be back any minute. You see? This is Sam. Say hello. <laughs> Isn't she lovely? Yes. Lovely. Although I must confess they all look much the same to me. Oh, if you spent one hour with this one, I guarantee you would fall in love with her. Hmm? Might even rouse your maternal instincts. <laughs> Perish the thought. Oh, well. I love children. So does Greg. We've even talked about adopting a little sister for David. Oh, Greg, Sam's been waiting for you. Um, anything in particular? I'm fairly busy. No, it doesn't matter. It can wait. Well, Fiona, I won't be in for lunch. I have an appointment at 12. Uh -huh. uh, I'll be in for dinner. Oh, well. In that case, <sighs> we're just going to have to find another excuse to have a party, aren't we? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> well, hello. hello, strangers. How was your cruise? Oh, wonderful. Marvellous. <laughs> Grace here lost her fortune playing the machines every night. Oh, havers. This one spent all her time flirting with the ship's oh. officers. <laughs> and did you bring a nice young man home with you, Mrs McTaggart? Oh, don't be daft. <laughs> Listen, I was awful sorry about your break-in. Oh, it was shocking, wasn't it? You can't leave your home for two minutes these days, but it gets broken into. We were broken into while we were away. I'm telling them. And we've got you to thank for clearing it up, Isabel. Thank you very much. Oh, don't mention it. You have enough problems of your own, Isabel. And tell me, how is Alan coming along after his car accident? Has he got his memory back yet? Uh, not quite, no. Oh, never mind. He's got a good woman looking after him. He'll be all right again yes, soon. I'm sure. Come on, then. What else are we to get? Well, we need rice. Okay. Hi, Douglas. Yeah, looking for me? Uh, just a few questions. All right, about what? The uh, break in at the Arna Craig. What about it? <clears throat> Where was Gary on Friday night? Ah, now look here. Now, I am not accusing anyone of anything. I'm only asking you a simple question. Do you know where Gary was on Friday night? Of course I know where he was. He was snoring his head off in bed. And can you prove that? Now, wait a minute. There was a fire at the Arna Craig on Friday. Yeah. There was also a break-in. You think Gary had anything to do with that? Well, let's put it this way. He's above Mother Therese on my list of suspects. And when I get to the hospital, he's standing there with Jennifer Gowdy. Oh, I feel heart sorry for you. But when he gets his memory back... If he'll... he gets his memory back. I tell you, I'm beginning to think he doesn't really want to. It's not like you to be so pessimistic. I don't know what I feel. Anger, guilt, self-pity, I suppose. She's, she's such a good-looking woman, you know, and a lot younger than me, of course. Oh, Isabel Blair. What you need is a good night out on the town. Oh, no, I couldn't have faced it, Mary. Why not? So you can sit here at home and mope? Well, that's all I feel like doing. Men, I took me to the pictures nocturne the other night. And? Oh, it was quite nice, but... Listen. 
We're going to put on our glad rags tonight. We're going to have a nice meal and a few drinks, and we're going to keep smiling, even if it is through the tears. Right, we'll hide behind that wall and see their faces when they try to get in, Pat. Oh, I don't, you're not finished yet. Hey, what are you lot up to? Right, you lot! Get the hell out of here! Oh, my God! Oh, yeah. oh. I wasn't doing anything. I'm a right fool, so I am. Honest to God. We were just having a laugh. Just having a laugh? Doing hundreds of pounds worth of damage, causing folk misery. I would never have believed it if I hadn't seen them own eyes. Get in the car now. Oh, why? No! So help me, I'll swing for you. I don't know what this will do to your mother, you know. Oh, my goodness. Uh, yes, uh, I did tell you it was a mess. Oh, it is a mess. Uh, actually, we're serving lunches in the dining room and the residence lounge today. But it's awful crowded in there. What was that? I said it's crowded. There's nobody here. Look, could you not just slip us in here in our old place? Well, it's hardly habitable today. You were away, weren't you? What? Oh, when it happened, uh, uh, yes, yes, in Edinburgh, um, Effie was looking after Lucy. Effie looking after a newborn baby. What was that? Effie looking after a new baby. Where? Mrs. Ross Gifford's baby. I don't see it. No, 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 no. Uh, Lucy and Joanna are up at Glendarroch House. Oh, a couple of chairs will do us fine. Well, they're being washed. What a time of disaster, see? Our house was broken into while we were away, you know. And the last of the Royal Strathbrune whiskey was stolen. Oh, no, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, look, how about a nice, quiet drink in the residence lounge, eh? Oh, we'll be quite comfortable here. <sighs> Sam Hagen around? Uh, it's a bit early for her, I think. Bit of a shambles, isn't it? Yeah. After the insurance money, were you? <laughs> Never mind. You can always give the two wrinklies a mop and bucket each. I hope you'd understand. Oh, thank you for this. What? Coming here. I know it's dangerous, but I just can't bear not being near you. Go inside. I'll uh, park the car around the back. Greg? I'm being careful. I wish we didn't have to do this. No. I waited outside her house for ages. God knows where she is. I'll have to get those papers signed. Oh, did you try Glendarroch House? No. Was it better, though? Well, she's not normally there at this time of the day. You could always leave them with Greg Ryder. He's but bound to see her. He's the last person I'd give them to. I thought I told you to take your tent off my land. I'm not camping on your land. Uh, Nick's camping on my mum's land. Well, tell her she's off or not. And so are you. I don't want to see your face here when I get back. I'm also glad Derek Bay, sir. Don't stand there blathering all day. You've plenty of work to do. Does he fancy you or something? No. He's just in a bit of a bad mood just now. Well, so was your mother the last time I saw her. What about? Well, just about me asking your kid sister for a date. Right, before we go and explain to the mother what's been happening, 
I've got a few questions I want to ask you. Questions, questions. Did you have anything to do with the fire and the break-in at the Adam Craig Hotel? Oh, give me a break, will you? You better not be telling me lies, boy. How could I do it? It was in the middle of the night and I was in my bed. Yeah, well, that's what I told Constable Kirk. Oh, I was here. Thinks you had something to do with it. Honest, it wasn't me. People could have lost their lives. Arson's a very serious crime. Yeah, I know. If I find out you've been lying to me... Why do I get the blame for everything? Because you hang about with the wrong crowd, that's why. Yeah, well, what else is there to do around here? It's so boring. I haven't got a job and you and Mum give me such crap pocket money. What else is there to do but just hang around? Commit crimes. Tom's been hanging around Lucy all morning. He's got a great way with babies. He has a very gentle nature. Yeah. Well, I don't see you having any difficulty persuading him to babysit. Fiona, there's something I want to tell you. I... Uh-huh. Mr. Snedden, what can we do for you? Is Sam Hagen around? She was, but she's gone home. Damn. What time did she leave? Oh, I can't say exactly. About half past eleven. She said she had an appointment. Well, if you see her before I do, will you remind her she's gone on a state down the road to run? Maybe she'd visit it from time to time. I have some very important papers. I need a signature on them. You know, for the life of me, I could never understand how Sam and Snedden got together. Sorry, Sheila, what was it you were saying before we were rudely interrupted? Oh, no, it's nothing. I think I'll go for lunch now. Hi, Mum. Is it all right if Nick comes to lunch? No, if he behaves himself with our Katrina. I can explain everything over lunch, Mrs McNeil. Oh, listen, I've got a bottle of wine in my tent. Uh, I'll, I'll just go and get it. For God's sake, Mum, you know what Katrina's like. She's been hanging around Nick's tent all day, spying on him. They were deep in conversation when I arrived. Andy's invited her to a disco. Nick is the DJ. He only asked Katrina if she was going to the disco. Well, I suppose that's all right then. But I think that young man fancies himself rotten. I hope you're not getting too fond of him. It's all right. He's shallow and vain. I know that. And he knows that too. Well, I'm glad you've got the measure of him. I just wish you could see through the man Snedden as well. That would make me a lot happier. You never give up, do you? No, and I won't. Not until you see sense. Oh, listen, I've had to chase the whole lot of them away from the shop, and so has Carl. And I've heard a lot of complaints from all around the village. I am at my wit's end with them. Oh, there's really nothing you can do, is there? Except talk to the parents. I just wish the parents would take more notice. Anyway, all this chasing around about has given me an appetite. So what have you got, Carl? Sandwiches. Hmm. Uh, tuna, egg and cress, cheese and pickle, gammon salad. Two cheese and an egg, please. Mr. Greedy. Ah, well, it's not having the woman to cook for me, is it? <laughs> so when's Emma getting back? I don't know. I thought of holding off my belated housewarming party, but I've decided just to go ahead. Great. You wouldn't like to help me with the catering, would you? Leave it to me, Douglas. I am a dab hand at parties. Oh, hello, oh. Sheila. Tom not with you today. Oh, he's either gamekeeping or babysitting. One year or another, he's busy. You were saying the other day it'll not be long now. The wedding. How much for these, Isabel? Hi, uh, how are things going? Not good. <clears throat> it was a call for you. What's happened? Celia's happened, that's what. She wants you to call her back. The number's there. Oh. Well, I wonder what that's all about. Haven't a clue. That's what worries me. Hi, Celia. It's Joanna here. Yes, Eric told me. Well, he's not too bad at taking messages, you know. What? When? You lucky so-and-so. What? Oh, Celia, I don't believe it. I would love to. Are you serious? <sighs> Listen, um... I would, of course, have to speak to Eric about it. Well, I don't know. Um, I will definitely be there, don't worry. Listen, can I call you back when I've sorted it out? OK, then. Bye-bye. Come on, then, tell me. 
Uh, well, it, it's a dig mm -hmm. in Crete, mm -hmm. uh, a newly discovered site, and it's a whole month. Mm. Should be just about far enough away for Celia. Mm. She wants me to go with her. What? Lucy and me. Oh, Eric, Lucy would love it. The sun would be so good for it. It's a, it's a chance in a million. No, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Do I get asked? To Crete? You know what you think of archaeological digs. No, Joe. I mean, do I get asked about you going? Well, Eric, please say yes. Yes. No, oh, say it as if you meant it. All right. Yes. Yes, I do mean it. Maybe, Joe, just maybe it'll get all this archaeology nonsense out of your head once and for all. Give us a chance to get this place cleaned up in peace. Oh. <laughs> hey, 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 steady, steady, steady. People will start to talk, which is what we will have to do later, long and seriously. David, what is it? I've got a splitting headache. Did you make that excuse to Ryder? What are you talking about? You think I'm daft? Get out. Not before I've had a couple of words with your boyfriend. Look, our affair was over long ago. You don't own me. So you dumped me for that jumped up and buzzer, did you? You're nothing but a slut. How dare you? Let go of us, Snedden. You animal. You better get out of here before I do something I might regret. I said, give you a good dig in the mouth too, but you're not worth it. You keep away from me! Oh. Just tell your boyfriend there when he wakes up. I'm away round to have a wee word with his wife. 